Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making an eggnog creme anglaise. It goes perfectly with my caramel apple bread pudding or omit the eggnog and substitute with milk and use it to jazz up any of your favorite desserts. So to start our creme anglaise we're going to be using equal parts milk. So I've got a cup and a half of milk and a cup and a half of eggnog. Those are going to go in together. And in this mixture we're going to be adding one vanilla pod. So we're going to slice this in half and we're going to scrape out all of those seeds right in the center. If you don't have a fresh vanilla, you can of course substitute for vanilla extract. You're going to add about a tablespoon. So all those seeds are going right in. And we're going to put the pod in too. To this we're going to be adding a quarter cup of white sugar. This is going to go on low heat. And we're going to give that a little bit of a stir and we want it to come to a slow simmer about two to three minutes. So while that's heating up, I have six egg yolks and I'm going to whisk in the remaining half a cup of sugar. So you want to whisk this until it stops feeling gritty and then you'll know all of the sugar is absorbed into those egg yolks. So our eggnog and our milk has come to a boil and now we're going to temper the eggs into the hot liquid. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of this hot liquid into the cold eggs and we want to do that slowly and gradually so that the eggs don't become scrambled. So that's going to go in slow and keep on whisking. Once you've got about a third of the hot liquid into the egg yolks, we're going to pour it back into the saucepan. Once the rest of the yolks are in the hot liquid, we're going to move it back to the stove and we're going to put it on low heat. At this point, we're going to switch to a wooden spoon instead of a whisk because we want to avoid any air bubbles or any froth forming at the top. So we're just going to stir this very, very gently on low heat until it starts to become thick. You'll know it's ready when it coats the back of a spoon. So that's looking good. So now we're going to strain this because we've got all that vanilla in there. So now this is going to cool down and as soon as it's cold, it's ready to eat. And there you have it. So easy. Our eggnog creme anglaise on top of our caramel apple bread pudding. Let's have a taste. Mmm. It's like Christmas in a bite. You can taste all those nutmeg and cinnamon notes. It's really good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.